What's up ladies and gentlemen, I recently came across an amazing launcher and this one is called Buzz Launcher and I'm surprised it's not that popular yet because it's unique. Unique meaning it's very different from all the other launchers which makes, which makes it a little hard to use but as soon as you get used to it you'll love it just as much as me and if you don't take my opinion for it then you should keep watching the video and you'll agree with me and if you still don't then go ahead and check out the reviews on the Google Play Store because we love to play. So let's see what else this can, thing can do. So as you may now notice, I can assign a different wallpaper to each and every one of my screens. Let's make it even better. You can have up to nine screens, not the usual six, up to nine. Let's make that even better. Three of those screens you can customize this way. Look at this. I can have like a mix of widgets and apps, I guess. I guess you could call them app widgets. So yes, if I tap on that, it brings me directly to my app drawer, which looks very similar. And from here, I can simply click on this little thing, and I can hide certain apps, manage applications, then I can pick sorting, grid size, adjust the transparency, buzz settings, and of course, infinite scroll. So all your settings are directly where they should to be, should be. Unlike normal launchers where you have to go into, say, Apex settings, then click on app drawer, then mess around with a bunch of other things, and it gets really annoying. Here, you have all your settings directly in the top right corner. How awesome is that? So let's go back. And now I'm going to show you the awesome feature which gives you a nice little overview. But there you go. So you, from here, if you swipe to the left from basically anywhere on any screen, you can see your app drawer, your decor wallpapers, which I'll get to in about one second, all your screens, which happens if you pinch as well, contents, upload, I'll show you what that means, Home pack buzz, which basically gives you all your themes and stuff. There are a huge amount of themes, and I'll go through those in about one second as well. Your buzz settings, and of course, your system settings themselves. So let me go ahead and tap away. Now I'll show you what Decor Wallpapers does. So if you hold down anywhere on the screen, you can of course add items, apps, widgets, shortcuts, folders, or an action. Action meaning you can literally do something like swipe down on that certain section. I'll bring you to like the app drawer. Or you can hold down again, and this time click on Decor Wallpapers, and voila. From here, you get a basic overview of all your screens and all your settings directly right here. And I just love this feature since most settings are really boring. You're just checking away at certain things or adjusting certain features while they allow you to interact with your screens while messing around with the settings, and I'll show you what that means. So from here, I can choose a wallpaper for each and every one of the screens. So, I'll go into Current Screen, I can go to Wallpaper, then I can go into my Gallery and choose a certain wallpaper for this screen, and I already did that, so I'm not going to do it again. I can also change the Inner Margin, the Outer Margin, and the Grid, which you can mess around with when you go ahead onto the Play Store and get Buzz Launcher. Next, let's talk about Appearance. From here, you can choose whether you want a status bar or not. See, the status bar disappears. If you want more screen, like Apple makes fun of Android for not leaving enough space on their screen because of the big black bar at the bottom and the big thick bar at the top, I guess. And if you don't want that, you can go ahead and get rid of it. There's the page indicator. If you don't want that, more room for your apps. There's also the dock. If you don't want a dock, get rid of it. Easy as that. And of course, if you want your icons to be labeled or not, they also give you an option for that. One other thing is the lock screen, which you can mess around with on, uh, with on your own. And if you don't want to infinitely keep scrolling and scrolling and scrolling, coming back to the front page, you can turn this off or on. Now finally, let's go into all screens. From here, you can change the... Say you don't like the fact that each and every one of your screens has a different wallpaper because it gets really annoying. Then, of course, you can go into wallpaper and apply the one wallpaper to all your screens. How awesome is that? Okay, so from here on out, I can simply choose whether or not I want a certain, uh, what would you call it, effect. So, I'll give you a demonstration. If you have a slower iPod or phone, or did I just say iPod? I'm an idiot. If you have a slower Android device, such as a phone or tablet, then you can do slide, fade, or, of course, there's cube and stairs. Now, for faster ones, cube and stairs works really well, and of course for slower ones, default, slide, and fade are the best ones. So this is what fade looks like. It's pretty obvious. And there's slide, as simple as heck. And then there's cube and stairs. I'm going to leave you in suspense and let you try those out on your own, and if it crashes, then you obviously have a slow phone. If it works really well for you, then keep it, I guess. I personally love the cube effect the most. 
you know what, I just have to show it to you. So that's technically what it looks like. Let's go back onto the home screen and see what it looks like literally. There you go. If you've used any other launcher, this comes with basically every launcher, and I can't wait till they update this and add even more effects. Now, the last thing I'm going to show you before you can go, go ahead onto the Play Store, like this video first before you do that, go ahead onto the Play Store and download Buzz Launcher. I'm going to show you our awesome Home Pack Buzz, which gives you a huge variety of ways to customize your device. I picked, you know, the three... Uh, pages, I guess you would call them, before the nine, 9 out of 3 pages they customized. Well, you can change those 3 pages into different customized ways. So I'm going to show you some of them. Let me close this. And here's a few options you can, things you could do with those 3 pages. And of course, if you're good enough, you can create your own, which is kind of tough. So I'm going to hot. Wait for that to load. Sorry if I'm taking forever or if I'm really annoying. So as you can see, I'm using the horizontal experience at this moment, as you may saw. But you can change that into, say, colorful box. This one is pretty awesome. I think I'll choose that one in a little bit. You can also change it into this one. There's pop style. I personally really like that one. That clock looks just ghetto and amazing. Maybe not ghetto, but whatever. Um, this one looks pretty cool as well. Your weather and date and everything directly right there. This looks awesome if you like flat style. That reminds me of Hollister right there. The simple one, I guess. If you like race cars, go ahead. And as I said before, oh, there's even an iOS 7 one. That's pretty amazing. So as you can see, there's hundreds you can choose from. And you could go ahead and pick whichever one you want. You simply click on it, it downloads, and voila. I highly suggest for new users, you use this one right here. You'll find it if you go into hot. There's new, there's staff picks, and there's, of course, you can follow certain people who upload things, you can like them. It's like a Facebook, but for themes. So, that's about it. This thing is called Buzz Launcher, and this is the Home Pack Buzz, which comes with Buzz Launcher, and you can get it any, basically off of Android Store. Um, I hope you enjoyed my very thorough video on this launcher, and I hope I didn't bore you to death with explaining a bunch of things. Leave a like if you really, really enjoyed it. Um, favorite if you enjoyed it to an extreme level and you want to hug your computer because of this video or something like that. And comment if you disagree with me that this is the best launcher, or if you completely agree and are super excited and jumping up and down in your chair. In that case, you should go ahead and subscribe too, because this is me logging off.